Yo, what's up, YouTube land? This is Nate Diaz. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Showing you guys the most deadliest strike in the world. Yeah, you know it. Let's say it together. The Stockton Slap. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports, and I had to show you guys this, man. I don't usually spam strikes, but I was spamming the Stockton slap as I was facing this guy, this Conor McGregor character that was really pushing the pace, man, <laughs> putting a lot of pressure on me, but the tables were turned here in the second round as we're catching the fight in the second round, and I really put it to him, and it got to the point where this guy ran out of gas, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try to stalk and slap KO him, so there's my first one, and then I tried to give him an onslaught of stalk and slaps, and it was tough, man, it was really tough trying to get that KO, and as the end of the round goes, man, I go one, two, three, <laughs> Four, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna unload and stock this slaps. And he couldn't get away too because I jacked up his leg. And I was just losing my cool. It was a fight really early in the morning. I was fighting at like 2 a.m. And I was trying to contain myself as we're looking here at the end of the fight. And at this point, all my strikes are stocked and slaps. I rock up there with one. And it's just an onslaught. Look at this. Jeez. You know, it's crazy because. In UFC 2, I was able to KO slap people <laughs> with the Stockton slap, but now they got it right, man, because the Stockton slap is not really one to KO you. It's one to just kind of mess with you and throw you off, kind of stun you in a way. But look at this. He's blocking a lot of them, <laughs> but then I hit him up with another one. <laughs> not a lot of time left. This guy at the other end is probably freaking out, but I felt like now was the time to try to get that elusive stock that slap KO <laughs> and I even gave him one after the bell and that was that but then I was asking myself I'm like you know what maybe in UFC 3 you can't KO people with the stock and slap so I took to the old fight camp UFC gym and practiced and tried to figure out can it be done man can it be done and check this out look at this right here so I'm trying to give Good old McGregor reliving that fight right there. And let's see. Am I going to get it? Am I going to get it? <laughs> it really takes a lot to... Look at that. There it is. Finally. It really takes a lot to get that KO. Let me know in the comment section below if you were able to get an online stock and slap KO. It's really tough to do. Maybe if you face a guy that doesn't really know what he's doing, you could do it. But yeah, that's really tough. I thought I would share it with you guys. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Enjoy some UFC 3 action. I'm playing it right now. Anyhow, people, this is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. Yeah, man, Ricky J Sports all the way. Nate Diaz, man. And don't forget, you are awesome.